Welcome back for another video. My name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make videos for non-techies. Now, when you are deciding to build a WordPress website, the thing that you need to make a decision on is you need to choose a theme for your WordPress website. And that is going to dictate the whole style of your website, the header area where your menu items and your logo and the footer area, a lot of the font styles, it's all going to be set and dictated by something called a WordPress theme. Now there's free themes and there are premium paid themes. Usually the main benefit with the paid ones is you're going to get some more advanced options that really save you time and make things a little easier for you. Um, and you're also getting direct access to support. Now if you choose to go with a free theme, your typical trade-offs are there. it's not going to be as easy to customize and you're not going to have access to support or if you do, it's going to be very slow support, meaning if you have a problem, it might take several days to get an answer. So you can decide what you want to do. Now my advice is if you do have some money to purchase a theme, I would go with a paid theme right off the bat. And I have a recommended page on my website here. And I have various themes that you can choose from that I recommend. A really good one for beginners are the one from Elegant Themes called Divi. And I've got some reviews on that and Beaver Builder. And uh, if you want to see a large marketplace of themes, you can go to this place here called Theme Forest. So just head on over to my website if you want to look at some of these premium themes and I've got links to take you to those places. Now there's also a ton of free themes and some of them are pretty good but some of them are not that good so you kind of are rolling the dice. So what I want to show you how to do in this video is install one of these free themes. So when you log into your WordPress website go to appearance and then themes. Now when you first install WordPress, it's going to install the the different WordPress default theme of the year. So we're in 2016, so it comes with the 2016 theme. I already know they've they're working uh, very hard on the 2017 theme. Now you could use the free default theme, but it's just very limited, so you 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 might not want to do that. Now what you can do is click on this Add New button right here, and it's going to take you right here where we can find a free theme that you might want to use. And they're all segmented as uh, featured and some of the more popular ones like that. And you can just scroll down and take a look at any of these themes. There's such a wide variety of them. Uh, so you can click on popular and that might be an indication if a theme is good to go with. Uh, these top three themes right here are made by WordPress, this one and this one as well. So here are some of the more popular themes right here. Now, one of the themes that I recommend if you want to go with a free theme, it's called Generate Press. So all you have to do is search for the name of the theme you want, and here's Generate Press. Now, the reason I like the Generate Press theme, it's right here. Now, this screenshot image isn't really vindicative of what it's going to look like on your website. This is just the default installation, and there's so many different options with this theme. But what I really like about the Generate Press theme is that it is one of the rare situations where a theme actually has support. You can go to generatepress.com and there's a support forum there and there's thousands of people that are using this theme. They're there helping each other. They're asking for help. They're giving tips and tricks on how to make the website look exactly how they want it to look. And so that's one of the things I love about GeneratePress. It's really rare to find that in a free theme and it has a developer that's so dedicated to it. So another thing is that it works with front-end page builders and it integrates real nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and click on install and then it's going to be installing it and then I'm going to click on the activate button in a moment as soon as it's downloaded and installed. A lot of these 
free themes also have a paid upgrade and this can be good and bad sometimes they're so limited in the features that you're just forced to upgrade and I find that when you go from free to a paid upgrade you, it tends to be a lower quality theme than if you just bought a theme outright so just know if uh, you, the theme you are wanting to use if it has an upgrade path and, and, and when you see how much they charge would it just be better to buy a theme right off the bat than that wasn't free and then paid. So uh, hopefully I didn't lose you there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on activate and now this theme is activated. So these are my old themes. Now you can delete themes really easy. You just click on it and then click on delete and then you need to confirm it and then that will delete that theme. Okay, so now I have the generate press theme on my site. So this is what my site looked like with the default WordPress 2016 theme and then when I click on refresh now you can see how it looks with the generate press theme now one of the nice things about the generate press theme is if you click on this customize button it's going to give you lots of options of things that you can customize all these things here you can customize topography colors layout a lot of different things and so that's another reason why I like this theme right here. So anyways, I just wanted to make a video to show you how to or give you some insight on getting a theme for your WordPress website, how to choose one and how to choose and install one. Hey, before you go, I have something for you. And before I get into that, I wanted to ask you to do something for me. If you could give me a thumbs up on this video. And if you're not a subscriber, click on the subscribe button right beneath me. If you have a question on this video, I'd be happy to answer it. You can also leave a comment or a question down below this video hey I put together a course just for you and I'm gonna give it to you for free all you have to do is click on the button right here on the right it's called the three steps to WordPress success it's an awesome course you're gonna love it I would love for you to join in and enroll as a student in this course thanks for watching this video I really appreciate it and I do it just for you